Hi guys, Dr. Michelle here. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I've been doing Thera Yoga every week here um, in my living room during the quarantine. So thank you guys for following along and joining me. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for back pain stability exercises. So we're going to slow things down a little bit today and focus on a lot of uh, back moves and core moves that help stabilize our spine. So we're doing things more on the physical therapy end than we are on the uh, yoga end today. So stick with me. It will still be a pretty good core workout. So you still get your workout in and we'll end it with Shavasana and do some breathing techniques too. So incorporate a little bit of the yoga and the parasympathetic training as well. So for today's class, um, you are going to need a block. If you do not have a block in your house, um, just use like a roll of paper towels or a roll of toilet paper or like a throw pillow. Um, I'm going to use a throw pillow today to just for my head support for lying down. You can do so too. Uh, and some water and a towel to wipe sweat. So today we're going to get started on our backs. So find a nice, comfortable position on your back. And bend your knees. Knees are going to point towards the ceiling. And then you're going to walk your feet out widthwise to the edges of the mat. And lift your butt for a second. Take the arch out of your back and then press it back into the table. I'm so used to saying table because I'm so used to working in a physical therapy gym. I meant to say mat. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been noticing I've been doing that with all my telehealth patients this week too. So what we're doing is by taking the arch out of your back is just kind of starting to elongate your spine here. And then we're just going to start by windshield wiping our knees side to side. Just starting to gently stretch our low back. So knees come side to side, arms are relaxed. You're starting to notice your breath here too. Maybe begin to do some diaphragmatic breathing. Breathe into your low belly versus your chest just to start relaxing your entire body. Good. And the next time you're on the left side, just keep your knees there and keep them dropped out there to the left side. And you should start to feel a nice stretch through the right side of your body. Come back to your breath here and start to breathe into that right side, into your low back, into your hip. And we're gonna hold that. Good, breathe into all those tight areas. Bring your knees back up to the middle and then drop them down to the right side. Shoulders stay grounded down into the floor, not your, not your table. Good. And you're going to breathe into the left side here. Nice, gentle wind down before we start some core stuff. Good. Knees come back to the top. You're going to bend your knees a little bit more. Start to pull your belly in towards your spine and engage that transverse abdominal muscle, that corset muscle that's under our six packs. Pull that in and almost feel like you're pulling your two hip points in towards each other. And that helps to activate that muscle. So you're really flattening your belly down towards the floor. Keeping it flat like that, pulled in, start to bridge up. Once you bridge up, don't lose that abdominal activation. Once you're in that bridge, start to squeeze your heels together. Good, on the floor. So knees are squeezing inwards, belly is squeezing tight. There's a lot going on here. Good, start to lower back down. Try not to plop down towards the floor. Let everything go. Pull your abs back in, hip points are pulling in together, bridge back up. Good, and we're squeezing our feet together here, 
and squeezing our knees together. Good, hold that. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Just be aware of your shoulders here. Make sure they're not creeping up towards our ears. Keep squeezing your butt up and belly down. Everything is kind of coming towards midline. Lower back down. Good, just no rest this time. We're gonna go right back into it. Keep squeezing knees, butt, belly. Good, face is relaxed, breath is steady. The tendency is for us to hold our breaths when we're doing a harder pose in yoga or a hard exercise, back down. We're gonna to try to break that tendency and stick with a nice steady breath. Yoga, yoga, especially vinyasa type yoga, likes to link breath to movement. And I think that's a good idea because when we hold our breath and do that move, the technical name for that is called the Valsalva maneuver. And when you Valsalva, your internal body pressure goes up and that increases your blood pressure. We don't want that. We want our blood pressure to come down. Good. Keep going. Squeeze your butt. Belly stays tight. We're bridging up. Now, if you're doing this and it feels way too easy for you, you can always put like weights on your hips like that. Or if you have a yoga ball at home, you can put your feet up on that yoga block or yoga ball and bridge up from there too. So that's another way to modify this. But we're gonna we're starting easy, but we're gonna go a little bit harder. So the reason I like to include bridges in a back stabilization program is because they really target your glutes, the booty, you know, and your hamstring muscles and your abs. Those are important components of our core. Our core is everything from here to here and all the way around. So we want to strengthen all the way around and having strong butt and core, here's my cat, uh, helps us stabilize our spine. All right, we're going to do three more of these. Good. Belly stays pulling in, knees pulling together, heels pulling together, belly pulling in. The first thing I like to work with, with my patients with low back pain and stability issues is activating that transverse abdominus muscle. Because that's kind of the key to everything. Once you get that, you can kind of progress every other exercise by layering other uh, exercises on top of that. But you want to get that deep abdominal contraction. Because that's your support system for your spine. That's your body's corset. It doesn't let things shift around, keeps everything pulled in and stable. Good, we're gonna do one more of these. Belly is pulled in, butt comes up, knees squeeze in. Beautiful here. Good, now we're breathing and holding. If you're not sure if you're holding your breath, try counting out loud. If you're not able to speak and do an exercise, then you're holding your breath. All right, come down. Windshield wipe those legs. Okay. Now you're going to straighten out your left leg. Right leg stays bent. Belly is pulled in towards your spine. And we're going to do some straight leg raises. So make sure your toe is pointing towards the ceiling. Your thigh is really active. So the front of your left thigh is pulling down towards the back of your left thigh. Keeping that, you're going to lift and lower just to the height of your other knee. Good, belly stays pulled in tight here too. You're not losing that transverse abdominal activation. This is three, we're gonna do three sets of 10 here. So four, five, six. Good, keep squeezing. Seven, eight, good, face and shoulders are relaxed. Nine, 10. Good, we're gonna go right into the other side, straighten out the right leg, keep the left leg bent, belly stays tight. 
we're going to do 10 on this side. Two, three, four, five, six. It looks easy, but it's actually secretly hard. Good. Three more. Three, two, one. Good. Right back into that left side. Left leg straight. Thigh is tight. You should be feeling this in the front of your hip. That's getting your psoas muscle, which is another important part of your core. Good. We're at five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Make sure your heel touches down each time. Ten. Good. Second set, right side. Right leg is nice and long. Heel is reaching out. Thigh is tight. We're going to go for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Last set, left side, left leg straight. Foot is dorsiflex towards you, thigh is tight. One, two, three, four. How creepy is it that my cat is like just staring down at me? <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Last set. Right side. Right leg is straight. Good. Thigh is active. You really should be feeling that in your hip flexors by now. If you're working along with me and this feels like super easy for you, consider getting an ankle weight or just doing more reps. So instead of three sets of 10, do three sets of 15. So I lost count here. I think about four more. Three two, one. Good. Shake it out. Okay, we're going to do another uh, core stabilizing one um, that works for hip flexors. So these are called up, up, down, downs. So you're going to roll your hips back, keep your belly down, and you're going to march one leg up. Other leg comes up. So it's left, right, left, right. That's one up, up, down, down. We're going to go with the right now. Up, up, down, down. Go with the left. Up, left one comes up, right one comes up, left one comes down, right one comes down. That's two. Up, up, down, down. Three. Up, up, down. Down. See what I'm doing? I'm alternating the leg I start with each time. Good. Down. Down. My back is pulling towards the ground. Belly staying tight. Good. Up. Up. Down. Down. If this feels like nothing for you, considering not touching your heel all the way down to the ground, just hovering. I'm coming. Up. Up. Down. Down. Good. Ten more. Up. Up. Down. Down. Nine. Up. Down. Down. Eight. Up. Up. Down. Down. Seven. Up. Down. Down. Six. Up. Up. Down. Down. Five. Up. Down. Down. Four. Up, up, down, down. These are hard. Three. Up, up, down, down. Two. Up, up, down, down. Last one. Up, up, down, down. Rest it. One chill wipe the legs again. Cool. And now we're going to grab one of our blocks. You're going to put your right hand on the long edge of the block. Bring your right leg to a tabletop position. 
and you're going to sandwich in that leg to that block. So thigh and hand, you're going to bring your other leg to meet it. So you're in that table position. You're going to this time lift your shoulders up. If that's too much on your neck, keep your head down on the pillow. So you're slapping your thigh against your left hand. You're going to extend out and in. We're going to do 10. Two, three, four, back is flat, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The whole time there's tension against that block. Place it down, switch sides, maybe you wiggle out your back. Left hand to block. Block is pressing against that left thigh. And you're gonna curl up and extend up and down. That's two. Three, you can give your thigh a slap each time. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, we're going to put the block to the side and now we're going to alternate. Those are, I call those dead bugs because you look like a, a, a bug dying kind of on your back. All right, so we're going to now do that dead bug but with both legs up. So knees come to the tabletop position. Shoulders lift off the ground. We're extending our right arm, left leg. Just to foot comes to a hover. That's right one, left one. Good. That's two, two, three, three, four, four. If it's too much for your neck, just bring it down. Five, five. Six, six, back is flat the whole time. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good, lower everything down to the ground. Shake it out. That was the first set. We're going to do three sets of those dead bugs. Alright, I'm gonna me down a little bit so I don't hit the couch. Alright, back to your start position, which is tabletop. Advance the shoulders off the ground. Beginner is neck, shoulders on the ground. I'm gonna do the beginner because it's easier for me to talk. Alright, back is pressing down on the ground. Right arm, left leg extend. One, one, two, two, three, three. If you can't get through all 10, do as many as you can do without feeling anything in your back. Four, five, five, six, six. Belly squeezing in. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Good. Shake it out. Wiggle your butt. Windshield wipe your legs. We've got one more set left. It's a great time to sip some water. Cool. Ready? Last set. Set it up. Arms and legs come up. Channel your little dead bug. Right arm, left leg. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Eight, 
eight. Yeah, stay with me. Last one. Nine. Nine. Good. Shake it out. Good. So you really should feel your thighs and your hip flexors and your abs working there. Cool. All right, let's get back to a butt exercise. So I like to traditionally go back and forth between the, my, my front side and my back side, just to give one side a break while you're working the other. Makes sense, right? If you're not doing a million things in a row. Um, at the end of this program, you should be pretty fatigued in your abs, your butt, your hip flexors, your hip abductors. Um, all of those are big stability muscle groups. So we're gonna keep working that. All right, so for your next butt one, you're gonna either put your right leg in the air, or if that's like too tense on your hamstring, just keep it bent to that tabletop position. And we're gonna bridge up, single leg bridge. Now, just like that first bridge we did, belly stays pulled in. So we're gonna do two sets of 10 on each side. Hands are down by your sides, neck is rested. So we're gonna go one, two, three, perfect, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down, switch legs, right one comes down, left one comes up, either here or here. And we're going to do ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good, booty is burning, two, one, good, last set on your left side for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right leg comes down, left leg comes up, five, sorry, not five, ten, nine, <laughs> eight, I was trying to cheat, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Shake it out. Back to the front side. We're going to do just simple crunches. So your hands are going to be behind your head. You're really lifting from your chest and not as much from your neck. You're not ever pulling up from your neck and your really goal is to get your shoulder blades off the ground. So we're going to go for three sets of 10 here. One, Two, exhale as you come up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So assess, is that easy, medium, or hard? If that was still really challenging for you, you're gonna keep it. If it was not, you're gonna bring your legs up. All right, next set of 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Rest. Shake out your little back a little bit. All right. Last set. Either legs down. It's the easier way, legs up is the harder way. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, abs are burning. All right, we're gonna roll over now onto our sides. I'm gonna take my pillow back. And we're going to start to work on our hip abductor muscles, ABD doctor. All right, so up to you if you want to use a pillow here, rest your head, 
or prop yourself up on your hand, but you wanna be all the way on your side. Okay, the way you're aligned here matters. So we wanna take our bottom leg, keep it bent, top leg straight in it, toe is flexed in front of you, and you're gonna bring it kind of behind you. So if you look down, you should only see the tip of your toe and not your entire foot. So we're thinking about making a straight line between our shoulder, our hip, our knee, and our ankle. Uh, your right arm can be in front of you here. So toes, dorsiflex, right? That's the position for coming towards you. Leg is straight. We're gonna lower it all the way down to the ground and we're just gonna lift it up a foot. What you wanna watch out for here is not turning your whole leg out, keeping it straight and a little behind you. We're gonna do three sets of 10, like that, that's two. And you'll feel on the outside of your hip. In the clinic, we call these Jean Fonda sometimes. <laughs> from the 80s workout videos. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, and relax. If 10 was easy for you, remember you can either do one of two things. One, get yourself a pair of ankle weights, or two, um, do extra reps. All right, we're gonna do a second set. Lift, 10, nine, you're feeling this all here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, butt is burning out. Our butt and hips should be lit up here. Okay, last set, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Before we flip over to the other side, we're gonna do another exercise over here. So you're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna keep them uh, like like a fetal position almost. Knees out in front of you and head up or down, whatever, doesn't matter. You can use your arm as a pillow. And what we're gonna do here are clamshells. So what you're gonna put one hand on your hip to make sure your whole body isn't rocking backwards. So just your knee is lifting up and down. And we're gonna do 10 like that. That's two, three, four, Five. This is getting that piriformis muscle that gets weak and tight and spastic sometimes. Okay, we're halfway there. Four, three, two, one. All right, one more exercise before we flip over and change sides. So we're gonna hover that leg and keep your foot dorsiflex and we're gonna kick our heel up to the ceiling. So this time we're internally rotating our hip with some hip abduction. So this is a reverse clam, I call this. So we're gonna do 10 here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Butt should be burning. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's switch sides. You can either face me switch sides of the mat, I'm gonna face you, or you can uh, roll over the other way. It doesn't really matter. Whatever's cozy for you. All right, so we're gonna set ourselves up again. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight, foot is dorsiflex, heel is a little bit behind you, belly is pulled in. You're gonna start at the floor and you're gonna lift up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, right into our clamshells, fetal position, knee is lifting, no rolling in our back. We're going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, good. Hover the leg, we're doing 10 reverse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. That was quick. We're gonna do another set of each on each side. So we're gonna roll either onto your other side or switch that to the mat so you can face me. All right, bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, clam, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, perfect, and reverse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, oh, booty's burning, four, three, two, one, good. Other side. Last set, other side. Okay. Bottom leg bent, top leg is straight, a little bit behind you, and lifting for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, clams, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last reverse ones, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay, that's it for our hip work. All right, so next thing we're gonna do are work on a few planks and that kind of gets all of our core together. So there's a couple ways to do planks. Beginners can always do them on their knees or more moderate or advanced can be propped up on your feet. So I'm gonna do the, I'll show both. I'm going to do the more advanced one. So, beginner, elbows, either clasped together or not, whatever feels good. Uh, and you're going to be down on your knees like this. And you're pulling energetically your elbows towards your knees. Advanced, toes are tucked under, butt is tucked under, and you're hovering. So, we're going to hold this for 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower to your knees. Maybe take a child's pose for a second. Good, we're gonna do three of those. So you can do a high plank too, if you like that. Maybe I'll try doing that this time. Okay, we're gonna hold it for 10. You're pulling your hands towards your feet here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. The entire time you're working, you're energetically pulling your elbows down, feet in, and kind of pretending you're gonna fold your yoga mat in half. It really engages your abs. So that's what we want for core stability. If you're feeling anything in your low back, tuck your butt under a little bit there, or maybe pipe up. Get out of that back pain. All right, so what I mean is tuck your butt under like that, or pike up and don't go quite as low. All right, last one. We're going for 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Now we're going to move to our side for a side plank. Grab some water there. Beginner, you can do your side plank on your knees like this. More advanced, up on both of your feet. Feet can be stacked or staggered, um, doesn't matter. If you want to do a yogi plank with your hands down, you can do it like that for beginner or advanced. Whoa, right there. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do three of them for 10 seconds. All right, is everyone with me? I'll try all three. Okay. All right, and go. 10, nine, eight, keep your shoulders rolled back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, good. We're gonna roll over on the other side. We'll alternate, so we'll do three on each side. All right, and lift up. Shoulders are stacked on top of each other for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, that can hand up can hand can be up two and one good switch sides two left all right save all the good stuff for the end here okay i'm gonna do it on my hand this time okay good more of a yogi position 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two, one. All right, couple left. Second one, second side. And lift up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! The wind is howling outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the fire is burning on the inside too, right? Ugh. Planks are always hard, no matter how many years you practice them. All right, last. We got one more on each side. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one Oops. last one yay we're almost done okay whoa find your balance <laughs> ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one we're down Okay. All right. We're going to start to, we saved all the hard moves for last. We're going to start to kind of wind things down a little bit and stretch out our legs. All right. So come meet me in a bound angle pose or butterfly, whatever you call this one. I once went to a yoga class where they exclusively talked in Sanskrit and I thought it was the most annoying, pretentious thing ever. So you won't hear me talking all in Sanskrit for sure. So in Sanskrit, this is called Bada Kanathana, um, bound angle, but you can call it whatever you want. It looks like a butterfly. I remember as a kid, we would do this and bounce our legs. So you're gonna bring your soles of your feet together, knees apart. One leg might be tighter than the other. You can see me right now. This one is my tight side. This one's my loose side. And now, once you're grabbing your feet, or if you can't grab your feet, grab your shins, start to lengthen up at your spine and pull your belly in. 
From there, I want you to hinge forward and feel a nice inner thigh stretch here. Keep your chest lifted and you should be able to comfortably breathe, right? Every pose we hold in yoga or every stretch we do, we don't want to lose our breath. We don't want to hold that Valsalva maneuver because that increases our blood pressure and we're trying to use exercise to calm our whole nervous system. Good. And lift back up. Straighten your back. Lengthen. Good. Good. Fold deeper with each exhale. So inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. After planking, you might, you know, feel a little shorter breath, and this is a nice way to kind of return to your natural breath. Good. To rise back up, straighten both legs out. If you can't sit with your legs out straight without rolling at your back, and if you can't do that, bend your knees. Makes it much easier. Let me face it again. All right, so. Either legs straight, but you keep that back straight, or if you can't, knees are a little bit bent. You're gonna lift up through your chest, bring your rib cage away from your pelvis, and then fold forward. Don't feel like you need to grab your feet, grab your shins. Same thing, and lengthen here. I'll show you from the side. Nice long back. If you can't, always bend your knees and then fold. Studies show that increasing the flexibility of your hamstring muscles, those muscles behind your thighs, improves your low back pain. So that's why we're stretching now, right? Good, let's do one more, inhale and fold. I love stretching my hamstrings. It always feels so good. Good. And you can always grab your legs here too. Thighs, wherever you can reach. On a scale of 0 to 10, the stretch should be in like that 5 to 6 range. Good. Come back up. You can shake out your legs. Good. We're going to go for a wide angle forward fold. We do this a lot in yoga standing. Now we're just going to do it on the floor. So inhale to lengthen, exhale. You can walk your fingers out to fold. Some people can drop straight in. This gets your inner thighs, your hip adductor muscles and your hamstring muscles. So I like including that. A nice flat back here. I'll show you from the side. Toes are up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Nice deep stretch through your inner thighs and your hamstrings. Good. Rise back up. Bring your legs together. You're going to take your right leg, bend it, cross it over. Then you're going to take your right arm and kickstand it behind you so you're nice and lengthened. Left arm reaches up, crosses over. You can either hook your hand like this or just grab your thigh and take a nice twist here. And this stretches your outer hip muscles and stretches your spine. So same thing in here. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist a little bit deeper. Good. Gaze is behind you. Good. Start to unwind. Maybe take a counter twist the other way for a second. Good. Good. And we're going to switch sides. So left leg comes over, squeeze it in, kickstand your left arm behind you, 
Right arm reaches up, and you're going to take a twist. They're grabbing your leg or hooking it. And reach behind you, or gaze behind you. Good. Inhale, lengthens. Exhale, you twist a little deeper. Beautiful. All right. Take that counter twist the other way. All right, we're gonna to start to unwind, find our way back into the mat. And we're gonna to start to set up for Shavasana. It has been kind of crazy, crazy couple of weeks that no one has really ever thought that could happen. So take this time to breathe, you know, rest your body and reconnect with your breath and know that everything is gonna be okay in the end. So whenever you're ready, start to find your final rest position. It could be that supine bang, bound angle or your regular Shavasana corpse pose, whatever it is for you, and find your breath and start to slow down. I'm gonna shut up for about a minute or so. Whenever you're ready, start to lay both your fingers and your toes. If you want a longer shavasana, you can always pause me. Good, so start to bring the leg back into the body. And then roll over onto your favorite side. Keep your eyes closed for a minute or so here. Once you're on your side, just take a second to thank yourself for showing up today, for doing this intense core routine. Your back will definitely love you for it. And just taking the last few seconds of practice. And when you're ready, push yourself up into a seat. Good. Your hands to your heart. I'm honored and I really thank you guys for showing up and practicing with me. Namaste. All right, I'll catch you next week with more physical therapy and yoga. Thanks again, guys. All right. Ah! Lost remote. Mm-hmm. <laughs>